Hello, welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you are happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about how to straighten the spine. This video is for educational purposes only and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. How many times have you heard someone tell you to stop slouching or straighten up? While the spine has a natural curvature, we all have a tendency to bend forward, and if you're already experiencing back or spinal pain and pressure, becoming more aware of just how much you're leaning or sitting at an angle can help minimize any further damage. There are other tips you can consider in your daily routine to straighten your spine and prevent back pain and many other issues that are related to the back and spine. In today's video, we're going to be sharing with you 7 best of these tips, stay tuned with us. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. Number 7. Maintain good posture. Maintaining a good posture while you sit, walk and sleep is probably the most important thing you can do for the health of your spine. Many people have sedentary jobs where they sit for most of the day, so the height, Comfort and support of chairs are crucial. Make sure your office chair is adjustable so you can customize it to your dimensions, and try to get one with lumbar support for your low back. At home, use cushions to support your back and prop your legs up while watching television. Try to change up your position throughout the day so you aren't holding the same position all the time. For instance, every 30 minutes or so, you might lean back occasionally or shift from one side to the other. Instead of trying to hold perfect posture all day long, try this, shrug your shoulders, then turn your palms forward. Then, reach for the ground and drop your shoulders. That's a good position for your head, neck, and shoulders, but it should still feel relaxed. Make sure your computer screen is at eye level and centered in front of your chair, otherwise, you'll strain your neck and possibly develop an abnormal curvature. Number 6. Don't sit too long. Even when you're on your feet, your knee may get stiff and sore over time if you don't vary your position. Be sure you shift your weight from foot to foot if your job requires long-term standing. Try to take a sitting break now and then. Conversely, if you sit all day long at your job, get up every half hour and move around the office, or take a walk outside for at least 5 minutes. You won't just be helping your spine, either. The medical community recommends 5-minute breaks every 30 minutes to ward off killers such as heart disease. Number 5. Wear quality shoes. Your feet are crucial for good posture because they are the foundation for your entire body. As such, wear sturdy shoes with good arch support, a slightly raised heel about half, three quarters of an inch, and plenty of room for your toes. In contrast, avoid regularly wearing high-heeled shoes because they affect the body center of gravity and induce compensatory alignment of the entire body, they can cause too much extension called hyperlordosis in the lumbar spine. If you are really heavy, have flat feet, or have a short leg and consider getting orthotics custom made shoe inserts of heel lifts. Orthotics promote a healthy spine by supporting the arches and allowing better biomechanics when running or walking. Orthotics are made by podiatrists, medical specialists, and some chiropractors. Number 4. Sleep on a firm mattress. You likely spend at least one third of your life in your bed, so pay a little more attention to the quality of your mattress and how you sleep on it. For most people, firm mattresses are the best strategy in order to provide the necessary support for their spine. Memory foam top covers may also be helpful. You should consider changing mattresses every 8 to 10 years. The thickness of your pillow should match the distance from the side of your head to the tip of your shoulder, a good rule of thumb to keep your neck aligned while sleeping. The best sleeping position for your spine is laying on your side, with your hips and knees slightly bent, and with a small pillow wedged between your thighs, which helps to keep your hips aligned also. Try not to prop your head up with too many pillows while in bed reading because it will strain your neck and possibly reverse its normal lordosis.
Number 3. Not carrying excess weight. Being overweight is a surefire way to put added tension on your spine. When you're overweight, each extra pound puts up to 3 pounds of added pressure on your bones when you walk. If you run, it more than triples. This added stress on your joint significantly increases your chances of having spine issues such as back pain. Your cartilage is the protective tissue cushioning your joints that enables smooth and comfortable movement. However, when overweight men and women lost an average of 11 pounds, they reduced their risk of osteoarthritis by half. Number 2. Skipping the gym. Exercise is a crucial component when it comes to maintaining a healthy spine because it keeps your muscles, bones, and connective tissue strong. At the same time, you should avoid putting repetitive strain on your joints. To protect your spine, DRS recommend participating in daily forms of moderate exercise that build strength, stamina, and flexibility. Great low-impact activities often include walking, biking, swimming, yoga, and strength training. And, don't forget to spend 5-10 to 10 minutes warming up and cooling down before and after the activity. Number 1. Do stretches. Maybe you're all in for adding more activity into your life. You are going to exercise to get health benefits, but when you start your exercise without warming up or finish it without cooling down, it will hurt your joints and especially your spine a lot. Take at least 10 minutes to stretch your back and legs, warming up all of your muscles, tendons, and ligaments so they can take the stress of the coming workout. If you are looking for effective stretches to do, there are lots of videos on our channel about this topic, you can check them out. If you have chronic back pain or if you severely injured your back or your spine and are still in pain a few days later, you could be setting yourself up for a permanent injury. You either need treatment or you need to strengthen your knee with physical therapy, bracing, or other therapies so that your joint can rehabilitate and be pain-free again. Your spine bears the brunt of taking your body from place to place. The joints are constantly in motion with almost every move you make, whether it's standing up, sitting down, walking, climbing stairs, or crouching to pick something up. Back pain can make every move a misery. So, take care of it. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.